Hello everyone, welcome to Solle Science. In today's video, we will see the viva voice of the experiment diameter of thin wire by diffraction method. Let's begin with the aim of experiment. It is to determine the diameter or you can say the thickness of thin wire by diffraction method using helium neon laser. It is required are laser source, screw gauge, micrometer, wire, measuring tape and screen. Formula is lambda equals to beta into small d upon capital D and since we need to find the diameter so d can be written as lambda d upon beta where beta is the fringe width and small d is the thickness or the diameter of the wire which is to be determined and capital D is the distance between the wire and the screen. Now look at the experimental setup here we are having three major components that is laser, wire and the screen. When light from the laser will hit the wire then it will get diffracted and the diffraction pattern will be obtained on the screen. Now for next readings we will make the changes in the position and the diffraction patterns will be observed. So my observation table will have lambda which will be the wavelength of the light we are using. Capital D this is the distance between the wire and the screen. And uh, then we will have x to be equal to 4 times beta which will give us beta to be equal to x upon 4. And finally the diameter of the wire which is lambda d upon beta. So the questions of this experiment will usually be based on laser or the diffraction phenomenon. So the first question can be state the full form of laser. So it is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Next state the characteristics of laser light. It is coherent, monochromatic, energetic and highly directional. Is it compulsory to use helium neon laser? The answer is no. One can use any suitable laser of their choice. And the examples are semiconducting laser, ruby laser, helium neon laser. Next, what is the wavelength of light emitted by helium neon laser? The wavelength is 632.8 nanometers. What do you mean by diffraction? It is the bend or the spread or the deflection of light waves around the edge of an obstacle or when it passes through a small opening. Name the different types of diffraction. The two types are Fresnel and Fraunhofer diffraction. This experiment is an example of which type of diffraction. So the answer is single slit Fraunhofer diffraction. Next question. Does the size of aperture affect the diffraction phenomenon? The answer is yes, smaller the aperture, greater will be the effect. When size of the wavelength will be equal to the size of the wire or the obstacle or the aperture, then diffraction pattern will be observed. If the size of aperture is very large, then the waves will not be diffracted, instead they will pass through it. How single slit diffraction differs from double slit diffraction? So in single slit, we have a single opening and light is incident on the slit and it spreads out giving alternate bright and dark bands. In double slit, the diffraction pattern is observed because of the two slits which are present and it shows, the con and it shows wave particle duality. Explain fringe width. It is denoted by the letter beta and it is the distance between two consecutive bright fringes or the distance between two consecutive dark fringes. Beta is given as capital D upon small d into lambda. What is wavefront? Surface on which the wave disturbance is in same phase at all points is called as the wavefront. Now the shape of wavefront depends upon the shape of the light source used. For point source we will have spherical wavefront and if the source is linear then we will have cylindrical wavefront and if the source is kept at infinity then we will get a plane wavefront. Give some examples where diffraction phenomenon is seen. Impact disc, XRD and when light enters the dark room. So here are few images which shows diffraction phenomenon in real life. That's it for this video. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.